Hey, what's up guys? Uh, so today's video, I just want to show you um, a couple things to do with the 180 degree thermostat if you choose to put one in your truck. So on mine being a 2014 model it and uh, the higher sport model, it has the active shutters and the grills. Um, so when you put in that uh, 180 degree thermostat, um, it will cool to 180 degrees, but the fan has to be running to actually pass air over the radiator. Otherwise, um, when you're on the interstate, on certain, I haven't dialed it in to figure out exactly when the uh, the shutters close, but basically the shutters will close and it won't get cool air through the radiator to cool it to 180 degrees, um, unless your fan kicks in and then a fan kicks in, then it can actually bring the temperature down. But um, I don't know if maybe at certain speeds those shutters open up um, or how they're programmed, but there's no settings in the Diablo Sport to affect them. But take a look here so right now I'm sitting at 185 degrees rock steady uh, the speed limit here is 80 miles an hour in Texas but um, basically with the 80 mile an hour speed my temperature stays rock steady 185 degrees so um, obviously a lot cooler and you can see the needle over here is sitting low as well so not really low I guess but just lower than the normal rate pegged in the middle so that's what I'm sitting at. Again, you can see the temperature hasn't moved. So um, basically what I'm saying is <clears throat> I'm not sure if uh, if there's a way to program those shutters because right now if I slow down, uh, I'll try to figure this out in a second here, but if you go at a different speed, uh, maybe like 70 miles an hour or 65, the, uh, the temperature will creep up until your fan kicks on and then when the fan kicks on, then it'll bring it back down. Either that or it might be actually be the uh, the shutters open up at a certain set temperature too when the engine hits a certain temperature that the, the shutters will open and cool the engine and then they'll close again because you can see the temperature cycling you know gets hot and then it gets cool back to 185 it gets hot and then it gets cool back to 185 so let's drive a little bit more and see what we can see okay so this is one of the things i wanted to illustrate if you take a look at the temperature it's at 188 degrees fahrenheit and it just finished settling to here where it cooled down. So if you watch, it's gonna go up slowly. We're at 190. And it's just gonna creep its way all the way up to 204 degrees, which is where the fan is set to kick on, the electric fan from Diablo Sport. So basically what I think is happening is those grills or active grill shutters or whatever you wanna call them in the front, they are closed, so I'm not getting any uh, airflow through the radiator and basically uh, I'm not getting any cooling um, to be able to cool this thing down to the 180 degree thermostat the stamp one that I have in there so you're gonna see this thing continue to climb so we're at 194 now step is going to have to be to, I'm going to try to mount a camera on those active shutters and try to remote uh, to my phone in the cab and then I can try to see when those things actually close and when they open so I can see what's going on under there but I'm thinking basically what's happening is that uh, they're staying closed, the computer is telling them to stay closed and maybe it's a certain speed, a uh, certain temperature. Um, engine temperature that they open to allow uh, air to obviously pass through the radiator but um, this is kind of where we're at so we're almost there we're at 201 and the truck never overheats or anything it just it's not uh, able to run the 180 degrees or close to 180 degrees like we're we're hoping here with these new shutters in there so we should almost be getting to 204 we're at 203. And once that fan kicks on, um, you'll see the temperature drop drastically on this thing. It drops in a hurry, so that fan definitely works and moves a lot of volume. So it should be hitting 204 here just in a second. 204. And now you're gonna see the numbers start to drop, which, uh, like I said, 204 is where the fan set on. I think it's like 204.8 or something odd like that. So now we're at 
3 and you're just going to see it drop in a hurry, 201. And it usually drops all the way to about 188, I think is where the fans will uh, turn back off again. But it gets there in a hurry for sure, 195. Okay, so that's obviously one of the things you want to keep in mind if you're going to go with a lower temperature thermostat, whether it's 180 degrees or 160 or whatever temperature you choose. So um, you might want to be you know, conscious of that. So if you have a 2013 plus, I believe it is, is when they actually install those active shutters, um, you're probably going to run into that issue. And as far as I know, the Diablo Sport, they can't actually change in the computer when those shutters open. It would be nice if we could actually control what temperature or in what conditions that those shutters would open, but I don't think you can at the moment. Um, I talked to one of the tuners that deals with the Diablo Sport and basically he said he can disable it so that you can remove those shutters and it won't throw a check engine light, but you'll lose usually one to two miles per gallon uh, on the freeway or on the highway if you're driving that thing. So I don't know if having the lower temperature thermostat is worth that. I mean, obviously you might make a bit more performance gains having the cooler term thermostat and it's running a little bit cooler. but. On the other side of things then you're going to be losing a little bit of miles per gallon so uh, i'm not sure which way i'd rather go um, me personally i think i'd probably prefer to have the miles per gallon it's not like that thing's a race car or anything like that so that's my personal opinion but there's one other option too is um, people actually leave the shutters in place but they will leave the there's basically four rows i guess so on each side there's two banks and what people on the forums have said is they remove the two middle ones and they leave the four ones in each corner. And when they leave those, it won't throw light on their dash, but they're able to pass some air through the middle. But again, that's probably not gonna result in the best miles per gallon because it'll basically be taking in all that air instead of the air going over the over the grill and over the truck. So it, you lose a little bit of aerodynamics. So that's basically the toss up. So I want you guys to be conscious of that. If you have one of those trucks with the active shutters that if you put a thermostat in, on the freeway it might still not cool to where you want it to so just something to keep in mind and especially with me having the electric uh, fan and not the mechanical fan constantly spinning it exaggerates the problem of no airflow going through so something to keep in mind wanted to let you in on that tip or a little bit of uh, stuff that i ran into but if you like this video give it a thumbs up for me and lots more on the way and subscribe to, to stay tuned and to be notified when the next one comes out all right talk soon thanks